Yeah. Uh, a student from the biological faculty. Mr. President, I heard that a group of American Indians have come here because they couldn't meet you uh, in the United States of America. If uh, you fail to meet them here, will you be able to improve, to correct it, and to meet them back in the United States? I didn't know that they had asked to see me, if, if they've come here, or whether to see them there. I'd be, I'd be very happy to see them. Uh, let me tell you just a little something about the American Indian in our land. We have provided millions of acres of land for what are called the preservations, or the reservations, I should say. They, they from the beginning, announced that they wanted to maintain their way of life, as they had always lived there in the desert and the plains and so forth. And we set up these reservations so they could and have a Bureau of Indian Affairs to help take care of them. At the same time, we provide education for them, schools on the reservations. And they are free also to leave the reservations and be American citizens among the rest of us, and many do. Some still prefer, however, that way of that early way of life. And we've done everything we can to meet their demands as to what they, how they want to live. Uh, maybe we made a mistake. Maybe we should not have humored them in, in that wanting to stay in that kind of primitive lifestyle. Maybe we should have said, no, come join us, be citizens, uh, along with the rest of us. As I say, many have, many have been very successful. And uh, I'm very pleased to, to meet with them, talk with them at any time, and see what their grievances are or what they feel they might be. Uh, you'd be surprised. Uh, some of them became very wealthy because some of those reservations uh, were overlaying great pools of oil. And you can get very rich pumping oil. And uh, so I don't know what their complaint might be.